Are you looking for a way to boost your Excel skills to the next level? Well, look no further because in this video, we'll explore how you can improve your Excel skills by 10 times with the help of ChatGPT. So whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who works with Excel regularly, ChatGPT is here to help you complete your work. And you can do whatever you want with ChatGPT. Enter the question you want to ask and it gives you a formula. Then you can put it on Excel or Google Sheet. And that's it. You're done. Seems interesting, right? In this video, I'll show you some amazing examples on how ChatGPT can help you solve both simple and complex problems in Excel. Here you can see a list of students and their marks. Now, how do you find the average mark for each student? Do you remember the formula for this? I think it might be average equals to A2 is to A1 is to B. <laughs> what? Why stress out? Just go to ChatGPT and type create an Excel formula to calculate the average values in cell. Then enter the cell value here, which for me is cell B2 to E2 and hit enter. You can see that we have got the formula. Now let's copy this formula. Go back to the Excel sheet and click on the cell where you want to display the average mark for the first student. Paste the formula here. And you'll now see the average mark for the first student. Now apply this formula and get the average for the remaining students. Just click on the small square and drag it till the last row. You can see that we have successfully got the average mark for all the students. Next, let's say you have a list of customers data like their name, email address and register number in a single column and you want to take that data and put it in separate columns. Now, how do you do that? Once you extract the data and put it in separate columns, your data will be organized and you can take the data easily. So to do that, first, let's ask ChatGPT for a formula. So let's go there. Then type create an Excel formula to extract the text separated by commas from cell and enter your cell name here. I'm going to type A2 to B2, C2, D2 and E2. As you can see, we have got the formula and like we did before, let's copy this formula. Go back to the Excel sheet, click on the cell and paste the formula. Now click here and drag it to the other cells like this. You can see that the data in the first row has been extracted and appeared in separate cells. Now within the same formula, we can extract and make it appear in other cells. So keeping the cell selected, if you drag it to the last row, you can see that all the data has been successfully separated and arranged in separate columns. Okay, next, let's see a very interesting example where you have a list of all your employees' names and the entry time records. And you want to find out which employees arrived late and which employees is on time. To find that out, let's go to ChatGPT. First, let's mention the column that has the time values. Since my entry time records are in column B, I'm going to mention that. After that, explain to ChatGPT like how you want to identify the late arrivals on the sheet. I'm going to enter my statement here. And you can see that ChatGPT has generated this formula. So let's copy it. Click on the cell and paste it here. Then drag the formula to fill on the remaining cells. And now you can clearly see who has arrived late and who is on time. Now what if you want to highlight only the late arrivals in a different color? So let's ask ChatGPT how to do that. I'm going to ask I just want to highlight the word late arrival from cell C2 to C10. And you can see that we have got the procedure to do it. So simply follow these instructions. First, it says select the cells from C2 to C10. So let's do that. Then on the home tab, click on conditional formatting. Select the new rule option and you will get this dialog box. Now it asks us to select this option. So let's select it. And in the format value, we need to enter the formula which is shown here. So we'll copy it and paste it here. Then click on the format button. In the format cells dialog box, go to fill tab and select the color you want to highlight with. I'm going to choose yellow. Then click on OK. And again, click on OK. And as you can see, all the late arrivals have been highlighted in yellow. Now we quickly identified who has arrived late. So this is how you can find the late arrivals in your Excel sheet and highlight the late arrivals in a different color. Okay, so far we've looked at basic examples on using ChatGPT to find formulas in Excel. Now let's explore some advanced examples. Let's say you have an Excel sheet containing a long list of employee IDs and names 
from which you want to find out the name of the corresponding employee ID. Now, how do you find it out? So let's ask ChatGPT to create a formula to find the employee name for the given employee ID. For example, you can ask, I have an Excel sheet with employee IDs and names. Can you provide me a formula that allows me to find the employee name based on the given employee ID? And you can see that we have got the formula. Now let's copy the formula, go to the Excel sheet, select the cell in which you want to display the employee name and paste the formula here. In the formula, replace the employee ID with the employee ID you want to search for. So I'm going to enter 603853 and then enter the range of cells that contains the employee ID and the name data which for me is A2 is to B101. Once you have done that, click enter. And you can see that we have successfully got the employee name for the employee ID we searched for. In the same way, you can search for any employee name just by having the employee ID. Okay, next, let's say you're a bank loan officer and you want to calculate the monthly EMI for a customer. You have the customer's loan details such as the principal amount, the interest rate and the loan tenure. Instead of manually entering the data and calculating the EMI, you can create macros in Excel. So just go to ChatGPT and ask it to create an Excel macro to make an EMI calculator. As you can see, it has generated this code. Once you get the code in the Excel sheet, go to developer tab, click on macros. Now enter a name for your macro and click on create to open the VBA editor. Here, copy and paste the code that you got from ChatGPT. and click save. Once you have got that, go back to your Excel sheet and in the developer tab, click on insert drop down. Then choose the button option to create a button on your sheet and then click and place the button where you want to have. Then you will get this dialog box, which means it will ask us to assign the macros to this button. All you have to do is select the macro you created, then click OK and the button will be created. Now to calculate the EMI for a customer, now click on the button and you will get this dialog box. So let's enter the loan amount. Click OK. Then enter the interest rate. Again click OK. Finally, enter the loan term in months and click OK. As you can see, we have got the EMI amount that the customer needs to pay. In the same way, you can calculate the EMI for multiple customers. Next, let's say you have two Excel sheets containing the employee data. Sheet 1 has the current month's data and Sheet 2 has the previous month's data. Both sheets have the same columns such as employee ID, name, department and salary. Let's say you want to identify the employees who appear in both current and previous month's data. To find that out, just go to ChatGPT and type create an Excel formula to compare two sheets, Sheet 1 and Sheet 2 and get the duplicate entry in sheet 3. As you can see, it has generated the formula. So let's copy it. Then open the sheet where you want to display the employees who appear in both current and previous month's data. Now paste the formula in the first cell and then click here and drag it across the range where you want the duplicate entries to be displayed. As you can see, the duplicate employees from sheet 1 and sheet 2 I'll stay in sheet 3. In the same way, you can easily compare multiple sheets and get the duplicate data into the new sheet. Not only this, you can also ask questions to ChatGPT and get your work done. For example, you can ask to generate a VBA code or macros or any formula to solve your problem. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can take your Excel skills to the next level using ChatGPT. Now, if you're interested in writing blogs using AI, then you can watch this video. Or if you're looking to make YouTube videos using AI, then watch this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.